How the devil are you guys? It's William in Dragon Age Origins. Yes, it's me, Rabidon. We're back here in Dragon Age Origins as previously stated. However, we have a decision. Do we drink the vial, destroy the vial, or leave the vial alone? This is Avernus's research that could uh, improve my taint. Now, how it improves the taint? I do not know and I'm not sure it's something I want to try um I may even leave it alone for now it's not a decision I can make lightly so we 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 have a concoction that could probably kill us right Levi I have a feeling terrible things were done in here I'm gonna say no and somebody else can put the second word to that. Let's have a look what's in this tower. That's called Avernus's tower and we keep finding his note so I assume there's gonna be a dead mage in here with diary on him. Let's have a look. Um, lots of dead skeletons. Corpses? And uh, whoa, we've got a friend over there. Who is that? Let's look all. Uh, uh, what can we loot while we're here? Ah, got to go in and talk to him, have we? Who is it? Let me guess. Oh, Bald man. I was yes. Someone or something. Please come in. Avernus, I assume. It has been so long since I could focus, you see. But the rip in the veil has been mended. Uh, yes, it has. Uh, okay, you're the old world mage, aren't you? The one we saw in the visions. How the hell are you still alive? Only just. I have only a short time left. Why are you here? What is your intent? Um. I'm here to recover the Grey Warden base primarily. Yeah, that's so. Uh, that's why I'm here. I see nothing that could stop you now. Certainly not myself. Okay. Uh, I want some answers. There's a crazy possessed Dryden woman back in the other base. Well, the other side of the tower wall bridge we came across. To what questions, I wonder? Ask. Okay. Um, let's start with uh, Sophia's great grandson. He might as well get a chance before I mess it up. Levi, your turn, mate. Master Mage, uh, sir, my family name has been worth less than dirt for over a century. Do you have any proof that Sophia was a hero? The boy who braved the mists. So you heeded my call. Ha 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 and you are a Dryden. The cosmos has a sense of humor. Uh, your call. He was but a boy when he entered the tunnels below the peak. His heart pure, his character certain. In dreams, I hmm. gave him the keys he would need. He would be my deliverance. Okay, ask, answer, yeah, but answer his questions, will you? Your great great grandmother was the best of us. Brave, charismatic, fiery, utterly devoted to the fight. But still, we lost. We fought against a tyrant, you know, so full of vigor then, so blind to consequence. But proof? There's none to be had. Oh, um, sorry about that, Levi. I, uh, I had hoped. But thank you, Warden. Okay then. What happened what here? What use would storytelling serve? The tyrant Arland is long dead, as is all our noble co-conspirators and the Grand Rebellion. 
Sophia's corpse may walk and talk, but she too is no more. Okay, what happened to the rebellion? Even though you don't seem to be the chirpiest of people, come on, at least give us that much. Too many mouths to quiet. Even sorcery can only go so far. So we met with Tian Kuzland. With him on our side, we had a chance of victory. Instead, oh, the king's guard kay. ambushed us. Commander Dryden and I barely escaped. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that my family almost rebelled? You're right, the Kuzlans, mate, are my family. Yep, yeah, and uh, we're kind of rebelling at the minute. Not really en masse, because there's only me and possibly my brother left, but, uh, you know, yeah, we almost rebelled. Is it? You lost many family members that day. Okay. I saw the Tian's head on the meeting table with an apple in its muff. Arlen's butchers, no doubt, slaughtered enough Kuzlans to make them pliable. Uh, so, Arlen, how... Yeah, explain the whole tyrant thing, because most of our history has been lost. He ruled with fear and poison. His treachery pit noble against noble in terrible battle. We thought him a monster. We gathered allies to rebel. But the toll of years has erased our failure, hasn't it? Yes. It seems so pressing then. But the kingdom lives on. Yeah, why why did you leave the wardens to die? That vision we saw back in the other side of the castle. You kind of just ran off and left them to it. I had considered the possibility of failure. But so many demons breaking free was more catastrophic than I had postulated, but my course was clear. I had to get to safety to contain the demonic threat. I took only those who would not impede my goal. Uh, you are kind of heartless, mate. In fact, you are. You just... You, you're the kind of heartless guy that doesn't know who his father is. You get that? Do you understand? Gordon does what he must. Hmm. So you must have known summoning that many demons was absolutely retardedly stupid. Perhaps, but it was survival for months. I prepared the summoning circles, researched the darkest depths of the fade. That moment was a triumph of demonic law. Dozens of demons called by my hand but mm. so many variables I suppose calculation errors were inevitable Ugh. I was so close okay so Dryden knew of the she demons the order? I would have summoned the demons anyway only under wardens can true magical research continue a chance really? to rediscover the secrets of ancient Tavinta. Yeah, you, you do remember how that supposedly ended, don't you, in the books? In you know, granted, the religious texts, not all religious texts, can be trusted, but the Black City, the Darkspawn. Chantry lies told to subjugate the mages to keep them docile. Uh I'm not the Chantry's biggest fan, and Alistair here will back me up on that, but. Even myths have sometimes a little bit of truth in them. How do you know they're wrong and you're right? And how do you know they are right? Their faith would have you swallow a great deal for small comfort. Yeah. And uh, To be honest, mate, you sound proud of what you've done. My only regret is that it failed. And that I never had a chance to make Ireland pay. Okay. You know, you probably are to blame for all this, you know that, don't you? And who draws this line of what is safe, proper, or moral? The Chantry? Corrupt, mundane, pathetic little men? You? Nah. Embrace the core tenet of the Wardens, any means necessary to win. Not 
any means. I know we're fighting demons, but we don't become demons to do it. Huh. I mean, we might become bad men, but we won't become demons. Right. Let's uh, change the subject, shall we? How have you survived this long? I mean, the top of your head looks quite smooth, but your face is... Well, you could, you, your face is centuries old, mate. The Chantry foolishly forbids blood magic, but there are so many secrets to uncover. As my body decayed, I found ways to extend it. But that can only go so far. Okay. What's the purpose of your experiments then? And uh, I assume it's long life at this point, but uh, you never know, you kind of madman. stop the demonic tide to correct the miscalculations of the past. Blood magic comes from demons. They could counter every bit of law I knew. But the dark spawn taint, that is alien to them. And it has power. Y yeah, what power would that be? Because there's a weird looking jug outside. The wardens use it merely to sense dark spawn. A triviality. My research has discovered so much more. Hinted at even greater heights. This knowledge could not only save Soldier's Peak, with it the Wardens could grow even more powerful. Okay... But... Can you teach me what you've learned? I mean... What level of... Sadisticness do I have to go to learn what you've learned? You've already read my research, but in time, with the proper materials, I could learn so much more. Y yeah, but um, you do know this is wrong, yeah? When you when we get to the level of demons, what you know, anything, yeah, anything to win, anything humane. Or dwarf main, or elf main, or whatever term you want to give it. But sinking to the level of demons, it's just wrong, mate. And you know better than the you demons. Dare to judge me? I have stood in relentless vigil against the demonic ranks. I have done this task without complaint, without relief. Yeah, but you sacrificed your friends. Ye and even though you could have been drafted in from criminals and they could have been drafted in from criminals you were all put together and you had to rely on each other and you pretty much left them to die you sacrificed them mate you're a monster it was necessary it was vital the few meager years of life they would have spent trapped in this tower were nothing compared to the greater goal I gave their death meaning Is there anything else you want to talk yes. about? No? Certainly. Fine. It seems you are done here. With the veil mended, I would seek to continue my experiments in peace. Perhaps I could advance the Warden's knowledge one last time before age claims me. Okay. You can do what you want, as long as you don't, uh, you no know more dark research mate, you've had enough of that, you've had plenty of that, so, find humane without ways. Test subjects, without other materials, you would cripple my efforts, but I will do hmm. what I can in this endeavour. I have little hope of discovering anything useful, but if I do, you will hear of it. You kind of welcome, old man. Okay, I'm I'm just going to see what you've been hoarding for the last few hundred years. 
The History of Soldiers Peak, Chapter 4. Let's have a look. I've been reading these. The History of Soldiers Peak, Chapter 4. There was one mystery, however, that persisted, and this mystery perplexed even Commander Hallowick herself. When Commander Osterion went to his calling in the Deep Roads, he did not have in his hand his sword. Osterion's might forged for him by dwarven smiths and presented to him upon the completion of Soldier's Peak. Nor did he pass the sword on to his successor or to any other Grey Warden. While some maintained that Asturian had simply destroyed the sword in his dotage, others believed he had stashed it away somewhere in Soldier's Peak. One young warden claimed that Asturian had once grabbed him by the soldier, soldier, so, <laughs> shoulders, fixed him with an unwavering gaze and said, The sword will remind you what it is to be a warden. Speak your oath to me. When the shadows come, you must speak the words. What this was supposed to mean was never made clear. From the History of the Great Wardens in Ferelden by Brother Genitivi Chantry Scholar. Okay. We'll fix the moon gate and sword will remind you what it is to be a warden. Speak your oath to me. When the shadows come, you must speak the words. Okay. Quest updated. You've learned about the establishment of the base and its founder's last days. The record state Commander Asteria may have built secrets into the base and may have hidden something important somewhere in Soldier's Peak. You found the clues, but where do they lead? I'll have to read through them again, I think. Oh, just keep pressing this until it shows up. I shall do it. What have you got? Expert cold iron ooh iron room. Six damage versus the undead. I will take it. Thank you very, very much. And this chest as well. It's mine. Smash metal kite shield viridium. Oh well. And well, that's everything you've got, mate. Avernus, I want a quick word. So much theory, not enough facts. Alright, uh, like that is it. Fine. In that case. Yes. We're back to where I started this episode. Do I take the risk? This noxious potion appears to be the culmination of Avernus' horrific research. Continue. It promises to unlock the hidden potential of the tainted blood you drank during the joining. To hell with it, I survived the bloody joining. I can survive this. Pain wrecks your body, but there is power in this pain and a hint of understanding. Okay. You have access to new abilities. Achievement unlocked, Diabolist. Mm. Okay. What new abilities do I have? Is it talents or is it skills? Power of the blood. Dark passage. Yeah, okay, and tainted blood. De complete <laughs> continuous deleted bleating health and tapping. Yeah. Makes the roll more nimble, able to remove more quickly while using stealth and more likely to. Well, that's passive and that's activated. Okay. A sustained. That is something I will have to look into. But for now, we have that ability. And apparently it disappeared, so I can't tell Alistair to do it as well. Eh, fine, whatever. But it looks like... Dryden's in for a surprise. Or should I say... The demon pretending to be Dryden. Oh, would you look at that? The weather's turned. Alright. Damn it! Fine. I need to level up my cunning stuff, don't I? Well, that was a cunning stunt. This one rages. The tower still stands. The Avernus lives. That's a shame. This one is betrayed. 
<laughs> yeah, in no part of the you deal did you mention him. Breaker. You are scum! Now you die! Oh, that's nice. You're calling me an Oathbreaker. You're the one inside somebody else's body. Right. Shall we give it a go? Right, let's give it a go. See what happens. Nicely done. And turn it back off. You've done it, Warden. Soldier's Peak is safe again. That old geezer That's nice. deserves the gallows, if you ask me, but people will do queer things to survive. But if he does the proper I research know. without the sacrifices and blood magic and all, maybe he'll turn up something good. But there was no proof to redeem my family. Hmm. <sighs> Listen, mate. The past doesn't offer redemption. So, you could try the future instead. However, your grandmother, we're not so sure about. Some of her actions were quite damning, some of them weren't. But there's one thing I do know is, you are a good man oh, yourself. Oh, thanks, Warden. For so long, I was focused on the past, on answers. But I think I would have been better off had I stayed at home. Enough of that, though. I find myself at a loss. You've got a whole fortress now. I suppose I should start plying my trade again. Yeah. Um. Any chance I can convince you, know you to stay I'm on? I'm no good in a fight, but I'm a fair trader if I do say so myself. My cousins have been looking for a safe place to store trade goods, and the peak will do nicely. Whatever the Drydens have That's to offer, true. Are yours for a sizable discount. Looks like we're done here. A demonic invasion thwarted, a warden base safely rescued. We do good work. Yes, we do. Right, okay, quest completed. Soldier's Peak. So, let's go to quests still in. Ancient history. Find his secret cache. Where did they found the clues, but where did they lead? Uh, you probably need to double check. Blah blah blah. Fortify headquarters. Push it mine. Do -do -do -do. Hidden passages and alcoves. Yeah. Blah blah. Remember. Blood magic, favorite food, raspberry jam, I saw that. Hmm. Okay, let's just keep an eye out for anything remotely. Asterion's portrait. Okay. That is now showing up as something to interact with. Right, what's Sophia got? Warden Commander Gloves. Massive gloves, viridium. Warden Commander Armor, tier 4. Tier 4. Yeah, let's just take all of that. Uh, I don't think Alistair can wear that yet, can he? He's looking quite good in his Templar gear, even though he's not really a fan of being a Templar, is he? But, Alistair, what can you wear? 32 strength. What is his strength at the minute? That's a good question. Yes, what well, is your strength, Alistair? I can't remember what I gave you. Or where you're up to. Is it that one? There. That's 28. We are two away. Oh, that's a shame. However, we have the Warden Commander. And uh, I think Alistair can have that when he's outgrown the Templar stuff. Or Sten can. Somebody can bloody wear it. Who's useful? Right. Austerian's portrait. Let's have a look, Ski. 
He found an old painting, one dating back to Commander Asterion's time. Perhaps Asterion's history points to this. Recite the Grey Warden Oath. Interesting. Uh, oh, it's not got a lock, that's a good sign. And, ooh, Battle Axe. Asterion's Might. Tier 3. And it has a plus 2 damage, weakens nearby Darkspawn and 1 armor penetration. Good sword for Darkspawn fighting, eh? Heavy Infantry L Helmet, Tier 5. Bloody hell. Shadow Belt, plus 3 melee, critical chance reduces hostility. And a load of gold. I will take it all, my friend. Nice to know. Quest completed. Yes, and that means... Yeah. We are done with Soldier's Peak. Let's uh, go back outside. Right. Where is... Uh, where's he gone? Levi, where are you mate? No, fine, fine, we'll be back, we'll be back. I'll tell you what we will do. Not that way. No, oh, he's gone, right. In that case, let us hit the road. And we will come back later. Give them time to set up, come back and see what they've got for us. Where shall we go? I say to camp. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. Yeah, when you collapsed, yeah? I've, I told you we'd talk about this when we weren't um, surrounded by other that. people. Something happened to me at the tower before you came along. Remember my apprentice, Petra. She encountered a demon in the tower. It would have killed her had I not intervened. I saved her life that day. Yes. But I did not survive that encounter with the demon. Okay, so you're no, you're I'm undead. Not undead. If I were a possessed walking corpse and could still think, I'd kill myself. I engaged a very powerful demon okay. to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me whispering quietly to me the sensation is impossible to describe i was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp i felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again i began to be aware of small sounds uh... and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor okay um that quite amazing really to be honest both benevolent and malicious the benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals unlike the demons it was one of these spirits well, that, that saved makes me. sense. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Okay. Um Do you have any idea how long this is going to last? I can feel when the spirit weakens, so I should have fair warning. But come, let us not talk about this. There is time yet. 
there is. Okay. Am I still activated with that bloody... Uh, no. Something's still activated. Don't what the? Is it that one? I'm glowing with something. I don't know what it is, but uh, it's a bit Dragon Ball Z, isn't it? Ah oh, well. Until next time, I suppose. Yeah.